Okay, typical situation. You got to move your army surplus 28 volt generator off of the wagon because you need the wagon. How are you going to do it when it weighs 300 pounds? Well, I could just lift it off with one arm, but uh, no, I think I'll use hydraulics here on my old tractor is um, all you need. You got a uh, hydraulic cylinder right here. You can see that beauty end to end. Notice how shiny it is? That's because in order to keep the hydraulic oil inside uh, under great pressure, you have to have a good seal between the parts that move relative to, to each other. Um, and that means that uh, steel has to stay shiny and polished. Um, up here, shorter cylinders. Those are the ones that are responsible for tipping the bucket up and down. Um, this valve body right here is what is used to um, control the position of the cylinders by allowing flow of pressurized hydraulic fluid into and out of the cylinders. Um, and then the hydraulic pressure comes from this rig on the back. You got uh, an old motor uh, with a belt drive and that belt turns the pulley on this little number and this little guy is a hydraulic pump. Low pressure uh, hydraulic fluid comes in on this side, gets squeezed inside the pump, and on the outside side is about 2,000 PSI. That hose goes into the valve body, as mentioned before, to control the um, position of the things. Um, notice also that there's a thing that looks like an oil filter down here. Um, as the oil comes out of the valve, any oil that isn't used to move the machines gets recirculated. Um, so that oil, hydraulic fluid, goes through the filter to keep tiny particles from getting suspended in the fluid. Those tiny particles can mess up the seals that we were talking about a second ago and can mess up the valves for controlling uh, positions. By the way, I'm just going to try to angle the camera here, see if I can show how, by moving the valve, I can change the position of the bucket, even with the pressure off, because um, uh, gravity just pulling that thing down. Okay, so got our chain connected up here. Notice the cleverness of this hook design. Uh, where you get wrap chain in there and it grabs the links. Chain goes around the front of the bucket and goes down to a, uh, a lifting eye that's built right into the generator. So we're ready to lift. And it goes like this. Got a little switch right here that turns on that 48 volt motor to turn the pump, pressurize the fluid. And I'll try to angle it here so that when I uh, operate the thing, you can see the generator. All right, pretty good. So the generator is sort of... You also notice that the batteries uh, are under the seat four six volt batteries under the driver's seat right there and then you got uh, two more batteries under the control deck and then this thing up front is the controller for there's two more batteries the controller that controls the um, uh, drive for the tractor another thing worth noting is that um, the hydraulic tank is this pillar. It's hollow and it's structural for holding up the arms of the bucket. Uh, 
but uh, also is the place where the hydraulic fluid is stored.